Hey, teardrop lovers, future RVers and RVers. We have a tiny home on wheels that we love to cover for you today. The all new 2024 New Camp 320S. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's get into this neat little camper. Outside the New Camp 320 we've got, uh, S, we've got a couple features that we have to, to have to hit. Starting up front, you have your propane and all the propane lines protected with this nice sealed diamond plate um, uh, piece up front here that you can add a second uh, bottle. It has the space there for you. Love it. Definitely may need it on some of those colder days. On the door side, we have a nice step here that tucks up out of the way. It's aluminum, if I'm not mistaken, so don't have to worry about it getting dirty or, or oxidized, etc. But the door and the grab bar is nice, um, nice entrance way here to give you just a, a, a you know confident entrance uh, coming into it. And speaking of the door, it is a nice heavy door here that's ample um, sealant sealed here to keep that water intrusion out. Uh, definitely got a note on the windows, nice big window usage on, on the New Camp products. Um, even if you want to just open it up and have some um, open air, but more importantly, it's double insulated to keep some of those extreme temperatures from uh, frosting up or fogging up your windows. On the outside, you have a table from the inside that you can bring out, and that's what this uh, piece, metal piece here is for. So give you a little bit more counter space to throw up some of your goodies. Maybe, maybe it's a nice morning, you wanna brew some coffee outside. We've got their electric here we can plug in, pop our coffee pot, or perhaps it's just happy hour bar time. You've got some space there that you can double up that table and by bringing it on the outside. On the back side, not too much here to talk about other than the, 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 I guess the visibility of what you have going on here with uh, the lights up high so you can get in uh, some safe, safely, um, you know, navigate some traffic and when you need to do those extreme breaks, being up high is really important so that the people behind you can see. But even just the, the grab handles on the front and the back are pretty cool, I gotta note. I literally can move this around here on the lot. Now, of course, your campsite may be gravel and some, some dirt and stuff like that you might have to, um, you know, fight, fight against. But if this is in your driveway, don't worry about backing it up perfectly. Heck, back up, use the grab handles and move it and drop it on the ball uh, securely. Then we'll move into the utility side. I love how they've put everything here centrally located in a nice compartment. And there, not only is it just in one area, but you're gonna notice the valves are color coded. There's a sticker there. So if you get into winterizing, maybe just sanitizing your water system, filling your water tank up or hooking up to city water. Everything here is not only color coded, but there's a diagram that shows, shows you more importantly what position those valves need to do. And then lastly, of course, your electric hookup. So if you got a campsite that you got electric power, you can get, get the, all your inside powered up and ready to roll. So there you go. Some of the outside features of the 2024 New Camp 320S. Inside the 2024 New Camp 320S, got a lot of talk about nice, small, compact uh, camper to be able to get into those uh, nice, tight, maybe uh, campsites at the state or uh, national, federal uh, campground um, campsites that you you just may love with your um, in the past with your with your tent camper. But we've got a lot of talk about up uh, in the back here because you can definitely see a lot of ability here to, to um, make this one space uh, into a lot of different things. First and foremost, we have our table here that I've kind of had propped up. This can rotate so we can easily uh, reposition this based on what you need to do. If you're sitting here for a breakfast meal, we can move it around or especially if this size is a little bit tighter with the bathroom that you'll see uh, here in a bit, um, you can move it out of the way so somebody can easily get back here. But we're going to have uh, essentially you could have four people at the at the booth. Get rid of this if you want in the sense of putting it outside or just leave it at home if you don't find that you need the table. Um, I uh, personally suggest keeping it with you, period, because you can put it outside and use that as some extra tabletop uh, space. But we can make this into a nice sofa. We can kind of lean back watch the TV if you want, if we've got some tunes playing, kind of read our book, sit back, or just kind of um, space out for a little bit while we have our favorite playlist on. But definitely by night then, you got a, a nice big bed here that we can use, throw, throw a couple of dots on, and especially maybe, uh, maybe your, your friendly four-legged friend that's coming with you. On each side, we're gonna pull out both um, 
uh, platforms and we're gonna take our uh, back cushions and fill in this void here. And then on the back end of it, just a little pull to release the, the latch mechanism that they have on this um, back piece. And now we have a long bed here that we can tuck our feet in and have a, a, a really nice wide long bed that's a little bit uh, not, not traditional size, but I would definitely say a queen bed if not a little bit more. In the back, they've even maintained um, uh, some storage uh, a bit, uh, space back here to throw maybe some of your favorite books or um, any little small items that you need. We'd have a lot of space here that we can uh, double up uh, some storage in the back. Maybe some of your, um, I don't know, maybe some of your, your favorite games and things. And if light on the ceiling and the back light isn't enough, we also have light on the back corners next to our speakers so we can use that as maybe some uh, reading light at night. Definitely plenty of light, just natural light coming through. As you can see, we have these big uh, windows on both sides and the window up front at the kitchen. And with the, uh, the four latches here, really nice security. And these are my favorite windows. They're double pane window, uh, but I'm all about nature and just feeling outdoors. These things kick out much bigger than any other RV window that I know of um, in the traditional camper. So you can really get a lot of, a lot of air flow coming through here, especially in those nice spring or fall days. And then beyond that too, you even have the ability to um, kind of knock out the light based on what you need. Maybe just some screen just to keep the bugs out um, or they bring the shade up and you can certainly position it anywhere in between. In the back here, as far as I was making some reference to the entertainment, again, we have our TV, we have our stereo um, that we can hook uh, Bluetooth in some of our favorite playlists. Kitchen wise, we're gonna get into that for a sec, but here they do have the microwave tucked up out of the way so you can get into some popcorn time or reheats. And then far as heating, we do have the Audi system, which is phenomenal. It gives you, I wanna say unlimited hot water. Uh, certainly that depends on whether you're using your own fresh water tank here or the incoming water, but it gives you a nice um, air, uh, heated air that's not gonna dry you out. Uh, and then of course you have your air conditioner. So in the back, let's Nick and I are gonna take a sec and we're gonna swap places. We'll talk about the front. All right, so up front on the 320, when you first come in the door, you've got your kitchen to the right here, obviously. Um, but I definitely want to note here that you got a screen that uh, encloses the, the whole doorway. So that way, if you have the main door opened up on a nice day, you can keep the bugs out. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, open and closing that big, the big door here. But anyway, up front on the front wall, we have our uh, full, full kitchen. We've got a sink, obviously. We've got a two burner stove that they also have an extra um, uh, uh, covering here. So that way you can double up uh, for counter space. Uh, you have electric ports that are actually, I'm sorry, fed down through the corner back here and, and underneath. So you have your 110, you have a 12 volt USB, and then you also have the circular uh, 12 volt. So you can feed uh, the cords and keep your, your counter space a little bit more clean, especially if you got coffee pot and a couple other uh, items. We have some more storage underneath here. Underneath the refrigerator is a nice drawer, so maybe throw some utensils and such. And then of course you have your um, refrigerator here to keep some of your perishables nice and, nice and cold. Even, even a cute little uh, uh, freezer, freezer area in case you wanna make some ice cube for your uh, popular beverages. Um, past the kitchen, then last but not least, we have our shower. Uh, with the bath, it is what it is. You, you're basically sitting on the toilet, taking a shower, brushing your teeth, doing all the biz, but hey, call it efficiency, maybe. Um, but you do have at least a dedicated sink so you can wash up hands, um, and then the shower has a holder there, so if you do need to sit down on the toilet and the hands free, you at least have that ability to uh, you know, shampoo your hair up, etc. But a cool, uh, cool little portal here too on this model that um, with the overhead light is too much, you can open that up a little bit and let some natural light, light in. So, so what do you think, gang? I know it's a small footprint, but it's compact and it's compact in a smart, innovative way to be able to um, really to get everything out of your camping experience with this 320 model that's made by New Camp 2024 model. Well, there you have it, our tiny home on wheels. Small and compact, but definitely mighty in the features. De keep you camping comfortably wherever you're at. So again, the 2024 New Camp 320S. You like it? Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to show us some love. Smash that subscribe button and please comment below. We'd love to hear from you some feedback, whether it's uh, comments, concerns, or maybe some questions you need some answers to. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you at the campsites.